What else, well, guys? When I started to look for the right lens, I could not find a good video that was really easy to understand and helped me to find what I was looking for. They were mostly talking to other photographers and not YouTubers like me. So today I want to talk about my new lens. It's a Sony Alpha Lens 35 f1.8 SAM smooth out of focus. Uh, so that means 35mm of focal length with an f-stop to 1.8 to set the aperture. I'm going to use it with my Sony A58. So why did I choose this lens? Let's begin. So with choosing the right lens, you have to know what you are using it for. So if you want to get more view angle, you need a wide angle lens. They tend to have a 16 to 40 millimeter focal length. If you need to record from a normal distance, go for a normal 50 millimeter lens. And if you want to do stuff uh, like a really far away and you want to bring it closer, uh, you need a telephoto lens. These go from 70 millimeter up to 300 millimeter uh, focal length. So I chose to go with a wide angle lens of 35 millimeter because I still want to have enough uh, of my room in the frame. Uh, it will shoot just fine up close and does not uh, need to shoot from really far away. Next I wanted the lens to give it a nice uh, depth of field. Therefore the aperture setting should be as low as possible. The lower the f-stop, the better the depth of field. Uh, so with a f1.8, that's really low. Other things that create a nice depth of field is the sensor size. Full frame or APS-C. My camera has an APS-C sensor which is uh, normal, but a bigger sensor like full frame uh, gives it a better depth of field. And of course being really close to the object also gives it a nice depth of field. This can be standing really close to the object or zooming up to 300 millimeters with focal length. Now to the buying part. My previous lens gives me a lot of flexibility uh, because it zooms well, has a nice wide angle uh, view and gets pretty close from a normal distance. But it did not have a low f-stop. This lens has a f3.5 to f5.6, so flexible uh, but not with the qualities I was looking for. But to have the same or more flexibility you are gonna pay a whole lot more. Also buying other prime lenses with zoom, which can be really handy, uh, can be more expensive. Such as the Sigma 18 to 35mm f1.8, uh, you can buy these lenses for about $800. So if you don't have a lot of money or don't want to spend a whole lot of money in those lenses, uh, like in my case, uh, but still want that uh, look you are looking for, then it's probably a good lens like this one. Um, it doesn't zoom but it's not really needed, it has a fixed uh, focal length of 35mm so it is, isn't really flexible but I paid $200 for this so that's, really, that's a really good price. And I'm really happy with the way my videos look now. I hope you found this video helpful, if you are curious to see more of its qualities please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more quality test videos next week. Also make sure to check out my other videos about Sony cameras and quality reviews and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.